So we're heading down Turkey Springs and we're seeing fresh bear tracks. So let, let's see, let's take a look at this. You can see how big these ones are, pretty big for black bear. Let's see, put my hand right there. You can see how big that track is and right there. It's Saturday morning, August 18th, and Carl and I have made our way back to Pine, Arizona. I think last week I kept saying Payson. It's actually Pine, a little north of Payson. And uh, we're starting our way uh, back up the Highline Trail. And it's a beautiful morning. We got a little bit of a later start today, but the sun's coming up and uh, really enjoying the, uh, our beautiful, the beautiful surroundings. And uh, our plan is to do the same trail that we did last week. So that'll put us uh, just under 20 miles and about 4,000 feet, just under 4,000 feet of elevation gain. Now we, we actually will top out at a total elevation of, what is it, 7,800 feet? Uh, yeah. Something like that. So the elevation itself makes it harder, which is good. Good training for us. It's just awesome out here. Three point three miles. We climbed to the top of this uh, top of the rim. Probably twelve hundred feet in elevation. We've done already in these three miles. We're about an hour and ten minutes in. We've been talking about how uh, we've been talking about all kinds of stuff. We're talking about how we're able to just uh, get up this pretty well. Did pretty well this morning. Last week we learned about this trail, so this time we've come back with the where we, with the mindset where we already know what we're facing, so it's just that much easier. So we've just been able to just push on. We're not so, we're not like tourists. Last time we were looking around, enjoying everything. This time we're a little more focused on getting the job done. A couple of up updates on our training. One thing that I haven't really talked about yet is about eight, actually about seven weeks ago, I'm starting my eight, eighth week now. About seven weeks ago, I started a ketogenic diet. Basically, and I'm, you know, a lot of people, you may have heard of that, a lot of people, it's kind of a, a, a craze right now, a big thing, but um, I talked to a couple of people after our last trip, and um, some people made the suggestion that you might want to try a high fat, low carb diet. It sounds counterproductive, but the more I've looked into it, the more I thought I'd try it. So it sounds like might be interesting. So I wanted to just say a little bit about that. Um, so this is beginning my eighth week and some of the things that I've noticed. One, of, I definitely had what's called the keto flu in the first week and a half to two weeks. I felt sick, I had headaches, I was feeling nauseous. And what I found was if I just increased my electrolytes, take some electrolytes, take, I, I was taking salt stick pills. And after about 20 or 30 minutes, that feeling of sickness would go away. But definitely felt strange. Then after that, one of the positive things that I noticed right away was that I wasn't, my hunger started to level out. And I'm telling you, it's awesome. I am not hungry all the time. I don't, I haven't been hangry. Um, for, I don't know, for, for the last almost two months now. It's, it's awesome and I'm not tied to my hunger. So it's like being free in a way. It's very strange actually. And the other thing I noticed was 
right away, my brain started to clear up a little bit. I'm not so foggy in the afternoons and I don't ha feel like I hit the wall in the afternoon where I have to take a nap. You know, I feel that heavy crash in the late afternoon. I love that. As far as my training goes, wow, it's been hard. It's actually been really hard. Um, I think I'm getting out of the woods though. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, I think that uh, I'm starting to, my body is starting to adapt to running on fat. I know it, it actually takes a lot longer than, my understanding is it takes a while and you start, supposed to start feeling better after about six or eight weeks. I am feeling better, but I can say that I felt like I was starting all over again. So the first few, first month was really hard. This second month has been tough, but I am starting to feel better. I have lost 10 pounds um, in seven weeks. That's pretty cool. Um, my hope is that by training my body to use fat more so than carbs, I won't have to put as much stress on my stomach. And uh, I kind of like the idea. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I've been very, very strict keto for the last almost two months. And now based on my training volume, I'm going to be adding in more carbs and, um, but still keep that pretty low. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. running down the trail, I heard a noise and looked over. There's some big brown moving object. I thought it was a bear, like last week. And uh, it scared the heck out of me um, because it was right off the side of the trail. It startled me. And so one of the last things you ever think to see in the middle of the forest, oops. <laughs> we have a cow out here. Is a bunch of cows, a bunch of dark black cows in the forest. So, we just passed the seven mile mark. We're heading up Turkey Springs, more uphill and um, more rocks, more forest, beautiful forest. And we're getting ready to get to the edge of the rim where there's just an epic view. Looks like the clouds are gathering earlier today. In the back of my mind, I'm wondering if we're gonna be running back to the car in a rainstorm. We'll see. Wow. Sure enough, we get to the top of this hill and we see a bear. This is awesome. It looked like a little one. We're, gonna, we're trying to find it right now, but I think he took off. He went that way, Carl. He went out that way. I think, oh look, I think, oh, never mind. Wow, <laughs> it's amazing. So we saw the cows, we we're joking around because we thought, no wonder yeah, every big black object that moves in the forest we think is a bear because we just saw another bear. Two weeks in a row, two bears in a row. And we're not even done, we're barely even, we're not even halfway through yet. <sighs> That's so awesome. But he was a little guy and he was yeah, running small. pretty quick. He took off, so that kind of worries me a little bit because if he's that small, yeah, I wonder if he's near his, his mom, you know? Get back on the trail. We'll get back on the trail. <laughs> well, yeah, it was just really, you know, it happened so fast that once again, I'm f fiddling to try and get the camera out. And Carl's like, wait, what's, oh, it's a bear. And then by that time, the bear is running through the woods to get away from us, which, you know, it's usually what black bears do. So usually, look, there's his, his tracks right there. Yeah. Good. So yeah, um, usually black bears will run away, but you still have to be very careful because you never know what they're going to do. They are they are a little unpredictable. That one that we saw was little, and um, 
little enough to make us think that it's possible that the, the mamba bear might be in the area. And that's when you have to really be, you have to really be careful. You want to make sure that that, whoa, more bear tracks. So you just want to make sure that uh, you don't become, become between the mamba bear and her cub. So we're heading down Turkey Springs and we're seeing fresh bear tracks. Carl and I were joking about renaming this trail Bear Springs. Um, so let, let's see, let's take a look at this. You can see how big these ones are, pretty big for black bear. Let's see, put my hand right there. You can see how big that track is and right there. Bears are using the same bears are using the same trail. So we're gonna nickname this trail Bear Springs Trail. Pretty cool. nearly 20 mile run, 4,000 feet elevation. And uh, it's a beautiful day. We saw yet another bear. And um, I bonked again. Um, I'm gonna blame it on the diet, the new keto diet that I've been on. I basically bonk every time I run right now, I'm trying to get my body fat adapted and it's just very stubborn. So I'm gonna, see what I can do to uh, figure that out. But all in all, it was a good day. We got it done and we so. We still beat our time by at least half hour from last week. Yeah, so I mean, that's good. We uh, got up here an hour later and we got done a half hour earlier overall, right? Yeah. All right, well, it's awesome up here. We'll see you next week. Yeah, see ya. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a tarantula hawk buzzing around the trail. Big old giant black wasp with orange wings. This is a little tiny one, but it's still huge for being so little. I don't want to get stung by that sucker. They're like one of the worst stings in the world. <laughs> That's so cool. Let me see if he wants to stand on his stick. Nope. Mm -hmm. He's like, what you doing? Is he gonna try to attack the stick? There he goes. Yeah. Here, I'm getting on camera. Little tart. <laughs> <laughs>